Hello, you magnificent creatives. I'm so glad you could join me for another day in the studio. Let's do another Alternative Surfaces to Upo for Alcohol Inks in our series. And today we're going to focus on metal. You only need a couple of supplies if you're going to work on metal. And I also used some optional supplies that are specific to the projects that I'm doing in this video. There are so many things that you can work on that are metal. Just look around your house and you will be surprised at the amount of things that you find. Now for this first project, I punched some various sized circles out of vinyl and adhered them to the side of the tumble, tumbler. Those are the list of colors that I used. And I'm first going to spray this tumbler with some snow cap white mixative from the Tim Holtz range, the Ranger brand of alcohol inks. It can be difficult to work with mixatives because they just act goofy. They just, let's just put it out there, they just do. So I'm going to spray this on there because even though we're going to stamp over the white, it's going to give us kind of an opaque base and make our colors stand out more brightly. So let's use a foam applicator, not felt, because felt will leave the little pieces behind and we don't want that on our tumbler. So we'll use a foam applicator and we'll put drops of color on it. Now you don't have to fill the entire foam applicator, but you do want to add more than you normally would because you have a large surface that you're gonna cover. So we're going to daub this on with our applicator, and you want to pay special attention that you get the edges. I didn't do the very bottom of the tumbler, and I did go all the way up to where your lips would normally go because this tumbler has a lid and a straw that goes with it, so there's no fear that someone's going to actually put their lips on the tumbler. So you use an X-Acto knife to remove the vinyl circles that we had adhered, and I used different sized circles so that we could get various sized polka dots on this tumbler. And look how cute and easy that is. I would seal this with a spray acrylic sealer to make sure that your inks stay on, but you really have no fear of your inks coming off in the dishwasher or just from regular handling. So I need to get the ink out from the inside of the tumbler and wash it, but it's good to go. Look how cute that is. And no one will have a tumbler exactly like yours. So next, let's look at the inside of a Coke can. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm doing the inside of a Coke can because there's so many things you can do with the metal from a pop can. Once you open it up, and I'm just showing you real quick how easy it is to open the can and cut off the jagged edge. You have all of this flexible metal that you can use. So let's kind of flatten it out, reshape it. We'll tape it down to our work surface. There's a list of colors that I'm using for this. And it's important to remember that I'm not trying to make anything beautiful out of this. I'm really just showing you that alcohol inks can work on the inside of a pop can. The aluminum is a great surface for home decor or jewelry. There's all kinds of things you can do with the inside of a pop can. So you spread your alcohol inks around, which I did a terrible job, but it is just an example. And then you can emboss on the other side of the metal. So you flip your can over and you tape it down so that it stays in one spot. And then just using a stylus, go around and trace your design. You could even put a piece of paper over the top of your Coke can and use that as your template, but I just drew it freehand. And look at how well that shows up. So yes, it's a very poor example, but you get the idea. Next, let's do a really cute little heart that I found at Hobby Lobby. I found it on a 50% off sale, so I think I paid $2 for this little heart. And I wound up turning it into a little magnet, and we leave notes for each other around the house if we need to leave a little note for each other. I just stuck a magnet on there. It's really cute. But you just spread your alcohol inks around with your dryer, 
You could also just drop your inks on this surface and use a Posca pen to doodle around the alcohol inks. That would be really cute. But I wanted this to have a very neutral flavor to it. So I just used some neutral colors and blew them around. And you really cannot screw this up. Again, I'm just doing this really quick as a demonstration for you. But it turned out very cute, and I really like it. We use it all the time. It just has a little twine hanger up at the top. And it's a great little message board. But blowing those inks around, you're not trying to make a pattern. You're not trying to even make wispy edges. You're just trying to spread the ink around the surface of the heart. Wasn't that easy? And look how cute that wound up. Next, we're going to do a teapot. This is a whistling tea kettle, and I listed my colors for you at the beginning. So again, we're going to use a foam applicator, and this time we're really going to apply pretty big drops of ink. Unfortunately, my blue got lost. It was taken over by the green but it really tones the green down a little bit. I have no idea why I did this teapot in green. I Yes, I do. I was trying to use a variety of colors on these projects. So this matches absolutely nothing in my house, but I think it turned out pretty cute. So you want to make sure that you get all of the edges, all of the little details, because that's what really makes your piece sing. So go around and daub your whole teapot. And then I took some yellow and a micro applicator and dipped it in the yellow and just dotted it on the outside of the tea kettle. And it made little, I made little areas of polka dots. And because alcohol inks repel each other, you can really use any two colors of ink you want. And you can do a darker area with lighter dots because it will repel the ink and they will show up. So we'll use our micro applicator to color the, the lid to our tea kettle with the same yellow. And actually off camera after I did the video, I wound up going back with some green and dotting the top of the tea kettle in little areas with some of the same little dots that I used with the yellow on the green. And it turned out really cute. And that took us no time at all. And finally, for our last project, this is my favorite. I used Shell Pink from the Ranger line of alcohol inks. And I just squirted it on the side of the planter. This is a little watering can planter. I also got this at Hobby Lobby and I think with the metal sale that was going on I paid half price. I think I spent six dollars or seven dollars on this. So I'm going to plant some little succulents in this. I just haven't gotten to do it yet. But I just dabbed the sprayed, you know, the ink that we shook all over it. I just dabbed that around and because I wanted a kind of mottled appearance, I added more ink to my foam applicator. And again, we're using foam, not felt. So I added some more ink to my applicator just to kind of change the ink up a little bit. I wanted light areas and dark areas. I didn't want it to be consistently all one color, but you could definitely do that if you wanted to. So it's giving it a kind of mottled appearance, which I think is really pretty. And I'm going to dry it a little bit with my heat gun because I'm totally impatient and can't wait the five minutes that it takes for alcohol inks to dry on their own. And next we're going to get out the rubber stamps. Now make sure that you use a good ink for this. Um, stays on usually works for anything, so that's my go-to brand of ink usually. And because I'm trying to use stamps that are on a wood block and I'm using those on a rounded surface, 
it took a couple of tries to get the stamps on there and you can see I didn't get the full stamp on there but that's okay it adds to the charm of the creation so we'll add a couple of big flowers and then we'll go in and we'll add I think I add three smaller flowers and this is absolutely darling. This is going to be so cute on my front porch for spring. Anyway, that is it from the Creative Castle today. I'm so glad that you could join me. I hope that you and your family are staying safe and healthy. Remember to wash your hands lots. Stay home. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section. Please, please remember to like and subscribe this video. I'm so glad that you joined me. I hope that you try some of these projects, and I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Bye!